welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh and a reviewing 2021 results. We're in May. Stock swoosh show live trading from advanced trader tracking. So this is if you would have risked an advanced risk, which I'll go over in a minute. Year to date from January through the beginning of May here we're in 224.583. So let's go over the year and we'll talk about it, what an advanced risk is. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So earnings season is going on right now. We're at the tail end event, getting some retail into the end of the period. It's a great time to trade because you have a lot of gaps. Also, there's been an extreme amount of volatility in the market. Now, as an active trader, you can look at that as a good thing. Again, you have to know how to play it though, but if you know how to play it, you can make money using vol uh, the, the play on volatility, I should say, when you're getting something selling off, for example, or something moving higher, which is buying momentum. Now, for those of you that don't know what I do, I focus only on gaps. That's all that I do for swing trades, day trades, uh, options, anything. This is day trades only that I called in the live room. And most of these are shorts. While some of these trades are longs, most are shorts. Why? I prefer to short. And the reason I prefer to short, I'll just tell you here really quickly, is because you get big moves that happen fast in shorts. Selling action momentum to the downside is panicky. And therefore, it happens quick and big. So I prefer to short, especially for the day trades. Anyways, we started out the year, Boeing we did, nice profit in that. Second day, the fifth, SPY was a loss. You can see here the best days I have, I'm typically only doing one thing. Like if I'm doing two or three trades, I'm probably having a more difficult day. In an ideal world, I look at every trade and I, uh, or every gap even in the morning, or I'm just hitting the bullseye and I'm in and I'm out. And that's the way that I tend to look at my trading. On the 6-2 in Facebook, both lost. BYND was a big winner and Apple was good. BYND, first trade failed. Second trade worked. This is a retake. BA worked and CCL on the 8th. We've been getting back to doing BA recently again, actually. That chart's been tricky towards the end of last year, but man, I still love to play that. The 11th, Twitter, Facebook, Boeing, lost, two in Twitter, two in Facebook lost. Then we did another Boeing that was break even. Facebook then finally worked in Apple. 12th was Netflix, huge trade, and CCL. BA worked, 13th, Twitter was the 14th, WFC, nice trade in the 15th. I forget what that was earnings. I want to say that it was. 15th, yeah, I think that was earnings. 18th close for Martin Luther King. Twitter, 19th, nice trade. Netflix fell. That was a nice one. Uh, first one lost. Second one, profitable trade. The 21st, UAL, nice profit. IBM is a good one. Always have, seem to have luck with that. 22nd, 25th was Apple. Verizon didn't do much on the 26th. Boeing and the Spy on the 27th worked. No trades on 28th. Spy lost on the 29th, Facebook won, was a good one, no trades in the first. Sometimes I'll have something where I don't do any trades if there's no good gaps on a day. That's rare, but it can happen. February 2nd, UPS lost, Spy was a big winner. Q's two trades, one winner, one loser. QCOM won in the fourth, Spy lost, then break even, QCOM lost, and another break even in the fifth. That was a J, things just didn't go right. Diamonds won on the eighth. IBM and Apple lost on the 9th. 10th, ACAM, Twitter lost. And then a big winner in Twitter, that was February 10th. Spy lost, Save was a big winner on the 11th. Disney lost, IBM lost. Twitter was a big winner on the 12th, closed the 15th. Twitter we did a bunch of times. 16th worked, no trades of the 17th. Walmart worked. Then Twitter worked the 19th. Boeing lost, Walmart won on the 22nd, no trades of the 23rd. 24th, we did Spy twice, one loser, one winner. Twitter lost, Disney won, that was that day. BBY lost, Twitter lost twice, and DBZ won. Foot Locker was easy on the 26th. Spy was easy on the 1st. DDD was easy on the 2nd. Rush was easy on the 3rd. Easy days are good. Spy, one loser, one winner, the 4th. That's called a retake. And then on the 5th, GPS just did not work either time, and Facebook lost was the beginning of March. 
then the eighth facebook lost apple won stitch fix one in the ninth spy lost stitch fix one in the tenth oracle won on the 11th and 12th lily won in the 15th spy won in the 16th no trades in the 17th apple huge trade on the 18th nike won in the 19th no trades in the 22nd 23rd wfc didn't work out apple didn't work out either ba was a big one yeah, it's fun to trade when it works march 24th gis worked hughes lost netflix worked and apple big one too spy one loser one winner on the 25th facebook lost 26 apple won and jpm was the 29th apple was beautiful on the 30th sometimes i'll keep doing something if i like it i'll just stay right on top of it we did that with the netflix options actually uh the 31st was luzlu one off for the Easter week. 12 new trades, fast loss, Apple won, spy won, BBY break even the 14th, 15th C loss, Apple won, 16th MS loss, BA won, no trades in the 19th, IBM won in the 20th. Netflix two trades, one loser, one winner. LVS lost, 22nd, Netflix won, INTC won in the 23rd, no trades, 26 UPS, big winner in the 27th. 28th save loss, Starbucks won, Microsoft won eBay was an easy one the 29th. Twitter lost first trade, second one won on the 30th, but that was a nice guy. Twitter worked again May 3rd. Microsoft worked May 4th. No trades on the 5th. That was a good day in Microsoft. Spy lost. Uber lost. Netflix lost. Etsy big win in the 6th. BYD did not work out. I mean, it was just a crazy day. Finally, the last trade worked, but it was late in the day, and Shaq was a nice winner. QQQs worked on the 10th. And just to go over here, what we were talking about as far as average risk on a trade, it's about 2,500. Some trades are a little bit less, some trades are slightly more because I may do an add in a trade. That's an advanced concept. Again, I'm not gonna go into detail about that now, but if I have something going in my direction, going in my direction, I will add to the trade, okay? To basically get heavier in the trade to make it a bigger position as the momentum is going in my direction. But the average risk on this advanced trader risk is 2,500 a trade. I had a question in the webinar last night and someone said about doing, you know, increasing my risk. I really don't feel the need to do that right now. I think it's really important to be comfortable with your risk. So you can hold through trades to bigger targets and be able to be flexible if you need to do more than one trade a day. So you need to be very comfortable with your risk. And if you're not sure about that, ask me, okay? So this was, this was the cues. This was just what we did the other day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Again, gap down here. Boom, did the puts. Gap down here in the 10th. Boom, shorted it. So again, do you have to risk $2,500 a trade? No, you can risk a beginner risk. You can risk $100 a trade, $200 a trade. You can take 100 shares if that works for you. These are equity trades using margin. You can trade at a retail trading firm. You can trade at a proprietary dating trading firm. If you would like a referral for those, you can email me, but you can really trade wherever you want. You do have to have charts. You have to have charts, oops, going back here where you have the data, the day data, the one minute, the daily, and you have to have pre-market data too to follow me in the room. In order to join the line trading room to get my live calls, you have to have taken the Golden Gap course. Okay, I have to say that too. Anyways, let's just go over this here briefly. Talking about margin, don't know anything about it. A $40 stock price is 200 shares, which is what, 8,000 in buying power. So, which you can take with a $2,500 profit count. Or you go retail place, you need 25,000. You get four to one margin. It's really your choice where you go. If the stock was, for example, a dollar in your direction, you can make 200 bucks. $200 a day is $1,000 a week. $1,000 a week is four grand a month and many people are losing. So four grand a month is a lot. It's 48 grand a year. Okay. You can day trade with a beginner account and risk the only difference is your share size is smaller. I say start small and grow it up even if you have the size to take bigger because you've got to get familiar with doing the trades. Some of these trades are quick. We're in and out in 5, 10, 15 minutes. You can grow a small account though into a larger account. You have plenty of time to do it. The most important thing is getting to your goal. How long it takes you to get to your goal, no one knows. But if, as long as you make it, as long as you reach the goal, that's all that matters. You don't want to fail, you want to win. And that's why it's very important to take your time and learn as you go along. So I teach my method in a class called the Golden Gap Course. I teach this class once a month. 
The class for May is May 15th and 16th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $69.99 U.S. dollars. It's the same for every person that takes it. Everyone pays the same. Same price, and it's in U.S. dollars. The class is online. If you're interested in signing up, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You must email me for sign-up forms. Now, if you want to do the combo, it's the Golden Gap course and the Trends course. The Trends is May 18th, 11 to 3. Cost of the class is $74.99. Class is online. Don't miss this class. And it's a good deal. You save half off when you sign up for both at the same time. And again, this teaches you long-term trends, which will help you in your day trading. So information is extremely important. The more information you have, the better you're going to trade. The higher confidence and the higher level of conviction. If you're interested or have questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.